Markets Now on Drive Live. Jamil Ahmed is Global Chief Market Analyst, VP of Corporate Development at FXTM. Uh, Jamil, good to have you back on. What's happening? Thank you very much as always. And I tell you what, guys, local markets, they're getting exciting again. Uh, the silent has resumed. Basically, it's what we keep talking about. And I know this is repetitive, but we've got to go into the price of oil. Um, basically, the oil markets, they did not close above $35 again, WTI crude. We hinted at it previous weeks as a very uh, strong psychological resistance. The sun has resumed in oil, and as a result of this, local markets are suffering. But I tell you what, guys, international story. Brexit. UK Prime Minister David Cameron has finally announced after months and months of uncertainty that there will be a UK referendum to uh, vote on UK membership into the European Union in late June. Huge topic internationally. It's dominating the headlines. It's extremely bad for the UK economy, and it's even worse for the UK British pound, which brings me on to the currency markets. The British pound is suffering. Um, a lot of uncertainty now is going to float around the UK economy over the upcoming months. I think that the UK exit of the European Union will be extremely bad news from an economic perspective. But in the meantime, investors are using this uncertainty even if the expectations are low, the UK will actually leave to pricing uh, pound weakness. So the dirham is stronger against the pound. So is the euro, US dollar. And um, we're seeing a bit of euro weakness across the currency markets apart from that. So the dirham's looking pretty strong here. And there's still some Japanese yen demand. Global Chief Market Analyst, VP of Corporate Development at FXTM. That's Jamil Ahmed. Appreciate it, Jamil. Good to have you on. Thank you very much as always. 